I guess this is where it starts. Or not, right? Hi guys, I'm Christina, but I... You know, there's really nothing else to that. I'm Christina, hi. Welcome to my bathroom. I guess... Because I'm such a makeup slash skincare enthusiast, I figured I'd show you my get ready with me routine. I can always say that I start off every time I even touch my face by washing my hands. Because I'm one of those people. I... Germs, man. No, just... Bleh. They're not fun. I personally like to use warm water on my face because I have a few, okay, more than a few breakouts going on and it personally helps my skin to use the warm water when I'm washing my face, so that's what I do. So I put my hair up in a ponytail because nobody wants hair in their face. I use a charcoal cleanser, doesn't matter what kind, it works best for me double chin, beautiful, and then uh, take off my glasses and see absolutely nothing. There could be a demon behind me. Everything off. Because, you know, seems like the next logical step. This is the part where everyone thinks I'm really weird. Because I have a specific face towel. This towel gets used for nothing but drying my face. I get it from my aunt. And you know what? That's okay. Again, it's a whole, like, germ thing, I guess. I don't... I don't know, man. So, I'm a pretty lazy person, so I took my favorite witch hazel, which, you know, doesn't really matter which one it is, and I put it in two liters of spray bottle, because, again, lazy, because then I can just do this. Instead of having to, uh, you know, sit there with a cotton pad or... You know, whatever, to just try and tone my face this way works a lot better. Not gonna lie. So, usually while the witch hazel is mostly sinking into my face, this is when I like to take just straight up tea tree oil and put it on my acne spots. Um, I do this because of my skin, it likes to be a jerk, and if I dilute it, then it don't really work that well. That was stunning English, wow. So I just put a little bit onto a little q-tip, and then I just spot treat. Because, uh, and it doesn't really work. The reason I also like to put it onto a q-tip is because instead of just putting it directly onto my face, it gets soaked in a little bit so I'm not using as much, which is really nice. And I always go right in here because with my oily skin, it like to get bad in there. So that's that. And yeah, and then the next step is eye lotion, which I recently got the Elf Beauty Shield Antioxidant Enriched Skin Protection Smoothing Eye Serum. Anyways, this just makes the skin soft under my eyes. It has these like three little like metal balls on them, and what you do is you just squeeze the product out, like so. And then, you just gently massage under your eyes. I like to hit the eye bag area, because, uh, what is sleep? Am I right? And, yeah. It's not very exciting, but, uh, it works, you know?
And then before it sinks in, I like to take my ring finger. Or I can just drop the cards. Before it sinks in, I like to take my ring finger and I just gently pat it in. So because Okay. This is what my skin likes to do. Because I use the charcoal cleanser and the witch hazel and stuff, my skin gets really dried out. And so, even though I have oily skin, I use a facial oil to replenish what I stripped away. And I noticed for me personally that my skin doesn't produce as much oil with that method. So I just like to go in with a rose hip facial oil. Ironically enough, I get this stuff that's like 16 or 17 bucks a bottle for like seven dollars at ross so there's that skincare at ross not bad actually works way cheaper i recommend and if you don't know what a ross is it's a uh, it's a discount store really nice one and then you take about half a dropper full and I just go in And then I take my fingertips that are still clean, still clean, and I massage it into my face. And um, I did, uh, because it is an oil and the fact that I do have oily skin, my skin does like to break out when I use it. So, that's just because of clogged pores, but um, I just added in a couple drops of the tea tree oil into this. So I don't put it near my eyes or anything, and it, I noticed that it did help significantly clean out my pores a lot better when I added that in. And the fact that there's a bunch of oils in it means I'm not putting a straight up tea tree oil all over my face. And then I give that time to sink in, and I want to wash my hands one last time. always forget it goes that way. Put them on my face and boom! I can see again. Take my hair down. Brush it. And then I go eat breakfast. Okay, so that was my skincare routine. It works for me wonderfully. Again, I do have very oily skin, just so I can reiterate myself, I guess. Seemed like a good thing to do. Whenever I feel like putting on makeup, I will use a mattifying lotion that I I usually find in Ulta or a drugstore somewhere. I don't really like getting very expensive things because it's just meant to make the skin matte. And that's just so my makeup doesn't slide off my face. But other than that, that was my skincare routine, and I I know it was awkward, I know it wasn't interesting, but you know, here we are. So without further ado, bye!